From artificial intelligence to mobile money and blockchain, digital innovations are helping us to address poverty, hunger, climate change, conflict and disease. Thus, we need to reinvent and reimagine what development looks like in the context of the so-called fourth industrial revolution. We also need to rethink and reframe how we finance development in this time of profound change. I currently have the privilege of co-chairing the United Nations Secretary General's Task Force on Digital Financing of the SDGs, the Sustainable Development Goals, which examines the intersection between these three critical areas, finance, technology and sustainable development. The key takeaway of the task force's new interim report called Harnessing Digitalization is that the digital revolution in financial technology or fintech offers major opportunities to accelerate financing of the SDGs, primarily by putting more control into the hands of citizens. The report describes three disruptive ways that fintech can shift the center of gravity of the financial system towards citizens. Firstly, by increasing the quality and user-friendliness of relevant financial information. Secondly, by reducing financial intermediation that does not add consumer value. And thirdly, by presenting citizens with platforms for collective action, for instance, crowdfunding. However, one of the biggest challenges is getting game-changing technologies like fintech into the hands of those who are farthest behind. Half of humanity still lacks internet access, mostly in developing countries, mostly women, and often in countries emerging from conflict. Therefore, the work of the Broadband Commission to support high-quality, low-cost broadband service in developing countries, as well as underserved communities, is absolutely critical to drive forward sustainable development. And I'm very pleased to be a member of this commission.